Hello. Hello. Have you had your gaming headset? So shall I rephrase that. Have you had your Turtle Beach Recom 70X gaming headset at any point and pulled the cup a little bit too hard? Oh, and you've not one of your ear, ear things off? I pulled the thing off entirely and ripped your speaker off like I did before, practicing for this thing. Oh my god, what do you do? Oh, and have you also got a very wobbly microphone? Which, as you can see, very limp microphone, very floppy. You know what a floppy mic, do you? And the other day, that's not good. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to successfully, hopefully, sort your wobbly mic and not pull the air finger, well, replace the air cup itself, pull this off without breaking the wire, and fix the microphone. That's the plan. Right, so if you pulled your air finger off, what you'll need to do. I was, obviously, I've, I've buggered this one already, so I've got one side how not to do it, one side how to do it. And if, it, if yours looks different to this because yours got a green wire, it's because mine has um, already had a mod done to it. But it originally didn't work, the cable was broke, so I replaced it with a mobile phone cable. If you look back at my videos, you'll see. It's, I think it's my most popular video, to be honest with you. Uh, anyway, back to this video. Um, so with this one, with your air cups, when it comes off, it's going to be the same on this side. What you'll need to do is mount the... Right, so it's going to be going on in, let's see, yeah, in that position, is that right? Nope, that position, there we go, that's the, yep, that's the one. So it's going on in that position, so what you'll need to do is put the lip of the air cup. So think of the metal solder points are going up, think of like that. So just getting that over there. Oh, chip my nail there. <laughs> uh, so, obviously you don't want to cover any of the, what do you call it? You know, the clippy bits. You don't want to be covering them bits up, so you want to pull it about as far as you can. And when you're good, you'll be able to just clip that back on. But, obviously you don't want it dangling like this unless you've got a solder iron. So, I'm gonna, at some point, I'm going to have to resolder this anyway. So, the trick is, be firm, but... Oh, it's come off again, hasn't it? <laughs> I did this in rehearsals, and I swear to God, the thing came off perfectly, and this one tore, so. <laughs> right, so in this situation, what you need to do is get yourself a prying tool. Actually, what I'll do, I won't use something to damage it, because obviously metal will damage plastic, as you probably know. But you essentially, oh, bugger. Sorry for knocking the camera there. I just want to pry. Oh, God, that is not working. They are stuck on there. Holy hell, are they stuck on there? It came off before, so why don't you come off now? Hmm. That's the question. Well, anyway, sad that we don't need that, do we? Right. So we'll, we'll get that to this side. Right, so the microphone, unfortunately you're going to need to go delve a little bit deeper because you need to remove these two screws there and below that there's a screw directly behind this part here. Directly there there's a little cross head screw and that's the thing that holds the tightness of the microphone. So if you had a screw that's dropped out you know, during this entire process then that's probably where it belongs if it's come out entirely. Does that make sense? So what I'll do, I've already been in there. Like I said, to try and rehearse the video. What's to say, <laughs> I failed a little bit, but I thought that would be a kind of, a good point to point out to anybody trying to tear them down. If you pull too hard, you are gonna break the wire. So you need to be firm up there. I don't know if you want to use a prior tool or anything, because you're gonna mark the material if you do, you know, when it's wrapped around it. I can't really say for sure. I've, I've marked mine as well, I think. Anyway, but if you see this cross head here, so bring it a bit closer. There, where my index finger's pointing. That's a cross head that essentially controls the thing of the the slack of the actual microphone. So you want to do so stick. I'm going to block the view of it, but stick the screwdriver. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. 
So you want to go right it tight until you feel the tension stiffen up a little bit. I'd say a little bit tighter than that and that should be fine. <sighs> to be fair, when I did the modern knees, I didn't actually wire the microphone in, but it was there's nothing wrong with it, so why not, innit? Uh, so now, the tricky bit to this is you need to align this hole and this hole with that stump and this stump here. And the wires tend to really like to get in the way. Might be the fact that I've been in here already, so mine might look different to yours slightly. But only the wires will look different, not the screw holes or anything. So you've got to kind of like finesse it into its little slot there, so the volume thing can go out the little cut out. And if we wriggle that into place, we should. There's a, there it is. Let's get a little screw, plunk it into place. They are tiny and I've got really fat hands, so <laughs> pardon my podgy fingers. Bit of a weird on me, I've got lanky fingers and podgy fingers. Right, and I think that's going in. It's fighting me a little bit, but <laughs> God damn it, go in. Because that's trapping, I think, isn't it? Ah uh ha -huh. There we go. So that's that. Don't go too crazy because it's metal into plastic members, so you might end up thread threading this screw hole. Which is something that you don't wear or do, because unless you plan to never come back in here again, of course, which if that is the case, do it right and you shouldn't have to do that. But I do plan to come back in here a few times because I plan to take the, make these not wild, uh, not wired. You know, give them a little Bluetooth module, and that should be it essentially. Make them the the breeze knees, the dogs do that. You know what I mean? Bit of a Bobby Dazzler. <laughs> so. We see, let's see how, and let's see how then, right? So, I'll sort this one out another time, but this is how you get it back on again. Right, so if you notice, these stumps there, they'll get in the way if they were down here, wouldn't they? They stab into that, I think. So that's not good. So we need these up here. So I'm assuming, should clip in place, mate. Hmm. That's not right, is it? It's the other way around, it's that way. So I was wrong, the legs do go near this PCB. <laughs> but I think if we just press it, that should do the trick. Yep. And the, got a bit of chip nail off there. Sorry about that. Yeah, the volume dial's working. And the microphone is now nice and stiff. No floppy mic here. <laughs> I'll fix this off camera, don't worry, I'm not going to bore you to death with that. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. And that was how to, uh, let's see how to replace and remove the air muff and tighten the microphone on the Turtle Beach Recon 70X gaming headset. Hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye, 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 bye. Adios.